welcome to today's video. My name is Amy, if you're new here, and today we have a teensy tiny beyond retro haul. So I had a gift voucher to spend, so I went over to their website and picked up some pieces. I thought I'd just show you what I got. I actually only got two pieces, so this should be a quick and easy haul, which is good because my lunch is gonna be ready in like five minutes. So I'm gonna show you one of the things I picked up. Of course, whenever I go on beyond retro, I instantly type in Harley Davidson and Disney as they are like my two favorite things to find vintage and I did strike gold with the Harley Davidson top um and yeah you'll see why in a second so this is an extra large which is my preferred size in Harley Davidson t-shirts that or anything higher is what I aspire for I like my t-shirts baggy and comfy um obviously I'm wearing Harley Davidson top right now you can see the addiction this one is from beyond retro in Brighton so this one I got online as I said and it's just got this really cool kind of bluer bluer more blue graphic than I've had on other tops. Normally they're more orange, um, but this is a really cool kind of blue front graphic. There's Harley Davidson on it. I don't feel like this front is so like in your face, I am Harley Davidson, but the back on the other hand is very like, I am American and I am um, a Harley Davidson top. Um, as this is the back graphic. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with like a fun back graphic. Let's actually see where it's from. It's from Barragada Guam. I don't know where any of them places are, but I just thought this was really cute. Um, a nice kind of oversized top. I wear these casually. I wear these out charity shopping. Like I live in my Harley Davidson tops, so I'm really glad to have another one. So here is the Harley Davidson top. As you guys know, I literally love these. I wear them all the time. These are a staple kind of thing in my wardrobe. I wear them day in, day out, and I literally mean like every day. I'm in some sort of oversized t-shirt, and that normally means a Harley Davidson top. I've got quite a few now, and I literally love them main reason i love them is because the back are always so cute so i'm gonna show you the back just like look at the detail like i just feel like wearing jeans maybe some other trousers and um, even just like leggings like these automatically make it look super cool make you really put together i don't know something about a back graphic that's just mm, i love it so much i just think it's really cute good fit nice long sleeves just like super comfy and cozy i'll equally just wear these like a pajama job pajama pajama top super shorts and then in the summer wearing some denim shorts and there's so many ways to wear these and i just love them and then kind of the complete opposite of that i picked up this really floral dress um i have been looking for cute floral dresses which i talk about in the try on clip a little bit more why but i just think a floral dress is so so cute and i'm definitely trying to get into more cutesy dresses i wear them loads in the summer i'm aware we are not in summer so this actually came and the straps were kind of stitched like that so kind of half the size and like that my boobs did not fit in it because mainly because it came up to kind of like here so i was trying to do up the dress probably in the dress's thinnest part like at the dress's waist but over my boobs which probably like the biggest part of my body maybe behind my bum um anyway so my mum unstitched the straps that had strapped down literally like half the size this person who had this before must have had no torso or just wanted her dress to come up to here um but i just think it's absolutely gorgeous it's a super funky kind of hibiscusy print but multicolored. i like the shape of it it's kind of like skin tight to be honest i think it's really cute the only downside to this is it is in a large, so it is quite snug, and it is in a fabric that has literally no stretch. Um, that is the only issue with buying vintage dresses. I would recommend more going in store and picking up vintage dresses rather than buying them online. It does have a hook and eye, which is good because just holding this zip is coming down. But it is so cute. It's a really, really pretty dress. It's got a proper like vintagey label cozy barley collection no idea. Um, but I just think it's so so gorgeous. Really pretty and really glad. So here is the dress. I must admit, this is a little bit snug on the boobs and the bum. I just feel like vintage clothes are just not made for curvy figures. And to be fair, this is a large. When normally in vintage clothes, I would go for an XL. But to be honest, I've taken off my bra and I feel like my boobs still look pretty darn good. And I feel like my bum also looks pretty darn good. But I just love the fabric on this. Like as in the um, pattern rather than the actual fabric, which has zero stretch to it, which is a bit stressful. But with the help of mum and no bra, this is just, just like it. I'm going to pan you down so you can see in a little bit more detail the dress. Like, see the length of it and stuff. Excuse the odd socks. Um, but I just think this is, like, so cute. I just feel like pretty dresses like this are just, like, so nice. Summer, I know we're completely not in summer at the moment. Um, 
but I just think this is really cute and oh I put that down really too high anyway um there's a creator on Instagram I think I believe her name's Jade I'll leave her like her Instagram up here and she always wears colorful floral dresses and she looks insane and every time I comment on them like I love your outfits and she's also like a fellow thrifter and she just looks amazing literally everything and I just aspire to dress as cool as her and I feel like this sort of colorful flowery dress is something you should pick up and I love it that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to get a thumbs up comment what your favorite item was down below subscribe if you're not already and i just want to give you guys a heads up i'm not actually quite sure what the uploads are going to be like for the next couple of weeks because i'm so busy i'm on holiday it's my birthday i'm doing some really really fun exciting projects so it just means that i am not going to be able to film probably as much as i normally do so maybe some shorts coming up um but i still want fun content but yeah there might be some shorts and kind of some missed uploads but yes i'll see you guys in the next one bye